He is known for his upbringing in Astoria, Queens, and his Greek immigrant heritage. He is recognized for his early talent as a singer, which was evident to his schoolmates at Flushing High School. His name is George Maharis. In the bustling neighborhood of Hell's Kitchen, Astoria, Queens, a young boy named George Maharis was born into a Greek immigrant family. Born to Basidos Maharas and Dimitra Stranis, George was the third of six children. Growing up, he attended Flushing High School where his classmates quickly recognized his talent as a singer. Although he left before graduating, George's determination led him to serve in the United States Marine Corps for 18 months before earning his high school diploma. After completing his education, George embarked on a journey to pursue his passion for singing. While trying to make his mark in the music industry, he worked various odd jobs to support himself. It was during this time that he landed his first acting role on the television comedy series Mr. Peepers. In a brilliant parody of Marlon Brando, George showcased his natural talent for comedy. His performance caught the attention of industry professionals and paved the way for his future success. To further refine his craft, George Mahari sought training at the prestigious actor's studio, studying under the guidance of renowned acting coaches Sanford Meisner and Lee Strasberg. This intensive training allowed him to hone his skills and develop a unique acting style that would set him apart from his peers. With his dedication and talent, George was ready to take on the world of acting and make his mark on the silver screen. George Maharis, a talented actor with a tough personality, began his early career in the theater world. After a brief stint at the Cincinnati Playhouse, he returned to New York and quickly gained recognition in off-Broadway productions. In 1955, Maharis received critical acclaim for his roles in John Van Druten's play, Dancing in the Checkered Shade, and 27 Wagons Full of Cotton. His performances were praised for their depth and intensity. In October 1958, Maharis showcased his versatility in Jean Jennett's Death Watch. A New York Times critic described his performance as correctly volatile, harsh, soft, and cunning. His ability to embody complex characters with authenticity and nuance garnered him high praise. In 1960, he took part in the first U.S. production of Edward Albee's The Zoo Story. Renowned theater critic Brooks Atkinson hailed Mahari's portrayal of the overwrought yet searching intruder as a first-rate piece of acting. His exceptional performance earned him the Performance Award at the Theater World Awards. Despite his success in off-Broadway productions, Maharis faced challenges when trying to break into Broadway. The off-Broadway scene was often looked down upon, and Maharis felt the stigma associated with it. He explained that working off-Broadway was seen as admitting that one had played smaller, less prestigious venues. As a result, he found it difficult to secure roles on Broadway and turned to television instead. Television became a platform for Maharis to showcase his talent. He appeared on popular shows such as Studio One, Craft Television Theater, Goodyear Television Playhouse, and Sterling Siliphant's Naked City. In the soap opera, Search for Tomorrow, he portrayed a gambler who mistreated his wife, displaying his ability to delve into complex and flawed characters. Maharis also ventured into film, making his debut in William Burke's The Mugger, and securing a role in Otto Preminger's Exodus. Critics and industry insiders compared Maharis to iconic tough guy actors like Humphrey Bogart and John Garfield. His performances exuded a raw intensity and authenticity that captivated audiences. Paul Gardner, a notable critic, placed Maharis in the tradition of these legendary actors, recognizing his talent and potential. George Maharis' early career showcased his exceptional acting abilities and his dedication to his craft. Despite facing challenges in the theater world, he found success in off-Broadway productions and made a name for himself in the television and film industry. His talent, versatility, and tough persona set him apart and laid the foundation for a remarkable career ahead. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.